I'm Adam Langerman. My company is Langerman Designs, and we're working with Snedeker Yacht Restoration on the Doris Restoration Project. So Langerman Designs is a yacht design firm that specializes in classic yachts for modern sailing. Our combination, um, being a team, works actually really well because I think we're both very good at what we do. We both strive to be the best at what we're doing. And overall, we both have the same mission statement. In the case of Doris, we're trying to create a historically accurate museum quality restoration that's also going to be very functional for the owner. And we're doing it as efficiently as possible. Doris has been known about for a long, long time as a potential important project. She's an incredibly historic artifact in the history of yacht design and yacht instruction. She was the largest wooden framed vessel built by the Herrschaft Manufacturing Company. She's an incredible artifact and a testament to the Herrschaft Company and the Herrschaft um, mark on the history of yacht design. So I've been providing engineering and design services with a focus on integrating technology into the traditional craftsmanship that goes along with a historically correct correct museum quality restoration. The CNC and the other technology we're using are really creating tools. The craftsmen are still very much in tune to the art of making the pieces fit and that's where the true skill comes in and the experience that's necessary working with the wood. They essentially have a better set of tools by implementing the CNC technology. A few places we've been able to integrate technology and new capabilities. A good example is pattern making. Whereas the Herrschaft company would have had a whole team of pattern makers working on hardware for Doris and their other construction projects, pattern making has basically become a lost art. And so that's one place we're able to model the hardware that we need in CAD programs and create the patterns using either CNC controlled routers or 3D printing. Specifically with the capstan, what we did is we have a capstan, um, but from the plans we know it's missing two very important parts. And so the drawings for those parts still existed. And we can take those plans, create a 3D model from those plans on the computer, and then use that model to create a pattern. And that pattern is then used by the foundry to create the bronze pieces that we need to complete that part. The CNC router really connects the drawings that are done on the computer to the physical woodworking. We're not replacing the skills that are really important in boat building, we're really augmenting them. One of the biggest places we used the CNC router to date was the molds for the boat. At the Hairshelf Manufacturing Company, they would have started with a notebook with numbers on them drawn the molds out on the floor and cut them out. We're skipping the step of the layout that they would have done on the factory floor and we're going straight to cutting them out with the computer controlled router. It does two things. It's much more efficient and it's taking some of the more mundane, repetitious parts of the process out of the equation so that the molds are being used to create the shape of the vessel. There's still very much an art to fitting the planks to the molds, to the shape. So it's creating a much more efficient process. It's also creating a better product because the molds in this case are more accurate than cutting them out by hand. There's a mountain of hardware that's needed for Doris and um, it's an incredible opportunity and it's an incredible project that we're so happy to be involved with because every piece that comes down the line is interesting and it's been a great privilege to be able to take them from essentially a piece of paper to a fully three-dimensional functional piece.